No Not November is almost over. People are talking about all of its benefits, and probably has a lot of them. But some people were saying that this No Nutting would increase your testosterone, capital T, the male hormone. Does the science back this up, though? The short answer is, maybe, for a little bit. Looking through a bunch of scientific literature on nut versus no nut, I had a very specific research question. Does prolonged no nutting increase testosterone for a sustained period? Here are the questions I don't care about. I don't care if there are other benefits to no nut. I don't care if your testosterone goes up for an hour or two. I don't care if the number of nutting episodes, nutisodes, is related to more or less testosterone. I don't care if increasing testosterone is even good. That's a whole nother research question. Just prolonged no nut and testosterone. One study, which I thought would have been the perfect one, studied 20 young heterosexual men. They had them all watch an adult movie, nut about 30 minutes into it, and then wait three weeks and do the whole movie nut thing again. During the movie, they took blood samples every 10 minutes through a tube that was going through a hole in the wall for privacy. After the three weeks of no nut, the researchers showed that the testosterone was increased during most of the video session except for the very first blood testing. The problem here is that testosterone can increase in anticipation of adult situations. So this increase in testosterone may have been because the young men were getting so hyped to watch the movie and nut again. In a separate paper, which was the best of the not great papers, Jiang and research friends had an interesting research design. It was in two phases. In the first phase, they had a bunch of dudes nut, and then after this nut, the daily testosterone blood test began. They took blood tests for eight days every day. They don't mention if these were auto nuts or assisted nuts, but they do note that 11 of the 28 men were married, if that makes a difference. They found there's this little blip in testosterone for people on the first day, then back to normal on days two through six, then everyone, except for one dude, had a big increase in testosterone on day seven, then it went back down to normal on day eight. That one dude had his increase on day six. In phase two, they took 16 people from the total and redivided them into two groups. Group one all got to nut, then they had their testosterone levels measured every day, again, for eight days. Group two just continued on with the no nut for eight more days, for 16 days total. They found that in group one, they again had this big increase in testosterone seven days after the second nut. But in group two, the ones who continued no nut, they never had any significant increase in testosterone after that initial increase. The problem for me is that this seems too neat, that everyone except that one dude had the seven-day testosterone no-nut cycle. Really though, I don't have any evidence to the contrary, so I can't really say anything. In terms of the decrease after that sharp increase, testosterone is regulated by other hormones. For many hormones and body chemicals, the body's trying to keep the level of them in a certain range, not too high, not too low. The authors note that maybe this increase in testosterone would send a signal elsewhere in the body to decrease testosterone afterwards. Are there any limitations to this study? Well, this doesn't seem to have been reproduced. M maybe that isn't a good term. No one has done this study again, so we don't know if this study was a fluke. Also, as I mentioned before, usually biological science data is a little messier than this, so somehow this seems a little fishy. However, if we're to take this study at face value, let's come back to the original research question. Does prolonged no-nutting increase testosterone for a sustained period? Yes, after one day a little bit, then after a week for a day, then it goes back down to normal and does not elevate again. Unless something magical happens after 17 days, or one month, 